Okay, go ahead. I thought you were asking me questions. Oh, right. What are we gonna talk about? Is it too, can you see up my nose? No, you're good. Okay, hey. Guys, um, what's Oh my gosh, I've already gotten, I'm going to another video. <laughs> <laughs> Your um was way too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> video is for all my single ladies right and um yeah christian singles how about let's do that okay because that's tough you know trying to serious. keep it together uh you know unlock for jesus for the lord clink 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 yes this is miss oh can i say her name right yeah the whole thing okay well this is sharona she is like everything in life so i just have awesome people in my life i'm so blessed i am she does everything she's a musician she's a singer praise and worship leader she's a poet she's an uh women activist a speaker she loves the lord she's a preacher she's everything guys this is you think everything i'm not <laughs> what you're not a musician you're not a singer you're not a praise you're not a poet really you're not a writer Okay, She's a blogger. Okay, Christian singles. Let's limit that to women. I guess you can start naming the difficulties that we as women face. Being Christian and single. I think the difficulties we face as Christians are the same difficulties that people face um, who aren't believers. And I think the biggest problem for Christian females or females, period, is the fact that our standards aren't high enough. Um, and that we're trying to be men. Hmm. And I'll explain both of those. And so what we have is a lot of women wanting to play the role that I believe um, God has set more so for men. And so we want to be the strong type. We want to be the, um, not, not that strength is bad, but we want to be the ruler, the one who controls, the one who have make, has the final say. Um, and so because because of that, we miss the beauty of what it means to be a woman, to be soft, to be vulnerable. And so we think of that as weak as women. Like if you want to be with somebody, if you want to, that's not strong, da, 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 da. And I think because we're so focused on, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be strong and I need to make decisions and I need to have my hand in everything that uh, we don't trust who God's created us to be and that for some reason, our culture tells us that a strong woman is more like a man instead of a woman. Mercy. I think that's a big problem. So the first problem is realizing that you're a woman and it's beautiful and it's not, I'm a woman, hear me roar. That's whack. Who wants to be a lion? And a lot of us aren't willing to let a man lead. Um, and we, and that's a reflection of our relationships with Christ because we won't let him lead either. So we don't trust him enough to trust that he could place a good man in our life that we could we can allow to lead. And I mean, like we, we do too much in church. Like we shouldn't be on every committee doing everything, running around. That's not cute. Like <laughs> it's, it's not even in church. I think we do too much. Our picture of a good woman is a woman who's doing too much. I guess Mary and Martha is a good example. And Martha was the one working, I guess, when Jesus was teaching or whatever. And she's doing all this to serve God. Um, but that wasn't where the best place for her to be where Mary was like at her feet at Jesus' feet learning sitting there and sometimes we just do too much and then the church exalts that woman that's tired mm -hmm. is that being a good woman mm -hmm. that's something we have to learn first and accept the fact that we're beautiful our vulnerability is beautiful and that becomes a strength um, and that's something that even strengthens a man that idea of not having control in everything or trusting someone to, to handle something and that's why we nag that's not cute we don't trust a man to do what they, you know, they're supposed, they want to do or they they say they're going to do or things have to be done our way because this is, this is the right way. That's prideful. That's not trusting. That's not a woman at rest. That's not beautiful. That's not the picture that we paint. A nagging woman has never been beautiful like that. Mm -mm. I think when you understand that beauty and that strength that um, your standards just raise. And I mean, even if you're not a Christian... I feel like at least make somebody wait for something. Like, we give way <laughs> too much. Like, do you realize how much time? I just feel like if we waited, like, we made men pursue us for real, like Christ pursues us. Call like, somebody. we just give so much to anybody. I mean, like, Bobo down the street. Bobo down the street because he told us we were pretty. If mm -hmm. I knew that myself, oh my gosh, she told me I was pretty. Oh my gosh, she prayed with me. <laughs> Every good looking man who loves the Lord is not yours. Well, 
And that's not, you don't just give everything to that. That's not cute either. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're not into that, just wait. I mean, if you, if you think about it, if you just made a guy wait before you held his hand, like, that will show you something. One, if the man's patient and if he's true. Um, and then you just got so many steps to keep you from, from laying in the bed with somebody. You wait three months to hold your hand, three months till you can hold me in your arms. Three months, I mean, you just have time. By that time, you can almost be safe. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy at all because I've, I've tried and sometimes I've failed. <laughs> 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 but I've learned, I guess, over the years. And if you don't view yourself as being special or what you have being special, then it's like, how can you ask a man to pursue you and chase after you?